All right, this is the mint. This is the answer to almost everybody's problems. This is the reason why certain people are rich and certain people are poor. Certain people are where they want to be. Certain people aren't where they want to be. It's the reason why certain people are fat and certain people are skinny. It is the reason why your mind works the way that it does. And it was programmed before you even went to school. So it got programmed from when you, before you were seven years old. When you were four years old, you've learned more you will learn more, you did learn more from zero to four than you will learn for the accumulation of the rest of your life. And the reason is for this, okay? This is the, the principle that gets in everybody's way. It's extremely difficult to tackle. It's the be, do, have principle, okay? Skinny person is a skinny person. The rich person is a rich person. The poor person is a poor person. The strong person is a strong person, okay? They didn't have the thing, they became the thing. And most people just have this. They just innately get this before they're even, you know, uh, before they're even talking, they're learning lessons, they're observing. And they get this idea because uh, when you're little, you just have, you're just so open to the world because you have to be to figure out how to navigate it. Well, when you're older, you start to close off and you start to become more, uh, less plastic and less moldable. And then you live your life with these truths that you just think are just absolute. Well, they're not absolute. And you know that you can change them. This is why I say you, you become what you repeat. Because the only way to get out of this is through, is through repetition. And we're gonna, and, and you'll see why here in a second. So, so most people think, like, if, uh, if you want a six pack, I want to have a six pack, then I have to do the things that a fit person would do to become the fit person. But that, that's what almost, that's what the status quo thinks. I have to have it first to do the thing to be the thing. That's backwards. It's the other way around. You have to become the fit person even before you are. So let's say you don't have a six pack. Let's say you got 30 pounds in your gut that you need to lose. Well, you need to go into a state of your mind that is so deep with the belief that you already have a six pack, that once you get out of that and you look down and you see that you don't have a six pack, it drives you nuts. Because then you're becoming the person that is the fit. And when you become the person that is the fit person, you will do the things that a fit person does. You will end up having the things that a fit person has. It's, the status quo teaches you the other way around, that you have to have it. You have to have money to be able to do the things that a rich person does in order to be the rich person. That's the other way around. The rich person does the things that get the money to be able to have the money, okay? It's the other way around. And you, if, you, if you could just rewire your mind super easy, you'd already have it. There'd be nothing standing in your way. But you don't. You don't. You're not just able to rewire your mind. For instance, try, re, try unlearning how to read these letters. That's how hard this thing is. You can't, it, like, it's pretty tough to unlearn how to read that, right? That's how hard this thing is. But it's going to take repetition and repetition and repetition to be able to change and become who you want to be. Whether that's the fat person, the rich person, the skinny person, the strong person, the, the, uh, the, the fit person. I don't know if I repeated myself there. But, but if, you want, if, you want to have the, if you want to have, you have to do and you have to become. Okay? But the status quo teaches it in that order. The order is wrong. Become first. You have to become the thing first. And the way that, the one way that you can do this is through visualization. So you can stop, you can close your eyes, and you can set a timer for, let's say, five minutes, and you get yourself into the state, and you imagine yourself not, you're not trying to imagine yourself out there in, uh, in, in some other dimension or some other world or some other life uh, being the way that you want to be. You imagine yourself being that way right now. You imagine yourself being the fit person right now. You imagine yourself having the shoulders. You imagine yourself having the abs, having the legs, uh, having the life. And you imagine yourself experiencing that life. And you do that for, let's say, let's say you do it for five minutes every single day. You become that first. And then when you wake up, when you come, not wake up, but when you get, when your timer goes off and it says, uh, okay, your five minutes is up and you look around, you're like, I'm still in this crappy house. I still have this 30 pound gut. What the hell? Then it's going to push you to do all the things that you need to do to have that life that you did want, okay? Be, do, have is the mint, but it takes tons and tons of repetition becoming what you want in your life so that you'll do what you need to do in order to have what you want to have.